What is going on guys? Esoteric Rider here. It is a beautiful Saturday right before Memorial Day and me and my man Tom, we are resuming speed. We're blowing down the waterway and this is what we call the haunted waters of Michigan. So the reason we call it that is because where we're going today is up in Forrester, Michigan. We're making a stop there to the legendary grave of one of Michigan's oldest urban legends, the story and the ghost of Minnie Quinn. And to tell you about Minnie Quinn, back in the early centuries of the 1900s, Minnie Quinn was a 16 year old girl who fell in love with the sailor who was docking on the lakes of Lexington. And up and through here, she fell in love with the sailor. And with the sailor, her father did not want her seeing. And after the sailor shipped off, was shipped off to whatever, I don't remember if he was a part of the Navy or whatever. When he was shipped off to go do his duties, she promised she would be waiting for him and decided to end up killing herself in the waters in which he shipped off of. And to this day, many reports have claimed that Minnie Quinn haunts the shores of the beaches around here waiting for that sailor to come home. So we're going to stop up in there, pay our respects at the grave, and then we're going to go up to the, to the lighthouse in Port Hope, Michigan. But after we leave the, uh, the grave of Minnie Quinn, I'll tell you the story in a short synopsis version of the Port Hope Lighthouse. So let's roll some B-roll footage and let's enjoy this beautiful ride. Figured we'd make a quick pit, pit stop. <clears throat> Get some blood back in our hands. <laughs> these are the shores that Minnie Quinn allegedly haunts. I'm not sure if these are the ones she actually killed herself on or if they're farther down. Beautiful. This is totally not trespassing. Oh no, I'm just saying, I'm assuming this is trespassing. Because you got that over there. Yeah, it goes under the. Okay. Oh, my man, you got boots on. I got these fucking oil filled <laughs> sneakers on, bro. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have to Indiana Jones my ass over there. Fucking Johnny Thunder with my. Alright, let's see if I can do this. Wow, I can't believe I pulled that off. Oh, this quicksand, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, this might be tricky. Alright, let's see if I can fit my small ass in between these bridges. Oh, shit! Oh, terrible idea. Oh, God, I'm sorry, Leathers. I'm sorry what I'm putting you through. I think that was worth it. There we go. All 
Ah, the sound of our people. All right, well, as beautiful as this scene is, we got to resume speed, so let's go ahead and do so. That's a rock. have arrived to the Forrester Michigan Cemetery where the remains of the Quinn family more notably where many Quinn is buried wrap around here Oh man, isn't it nice having a switch as a starter? <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> uh, well, here it is. That's new. So I know that I've been calling her Minnie Quinn this whole time, but her actual last name is Minnie Quay. There's, I forgot why people call her Minnie Quinn. But yep, this is uh, Minnie, Minnie Quinn, 16 years old. When people leave pennies on top of the tombstone to pay their respects. Quakers, leave what you may, but take something from, but take something away, there will be hell to pay. all the smoke or fog back there or whatever. Oh, Marianne? Yeah. Outlived everybody. Believe that. Man, I tell you what, there ain't nothing better than this right here. Nice open road with barely any traffic, 60, 70 miles an hour with one of your good friends. I tell you what, there ain't much in life to complain about right now. It's a beautiful day, a little on the brisk side, especially at this speed. The wind is a little colder going 60, 65 miles an hour. But hey, you know what? That's not stopping me one bit. So we're just resuming speed like we always do. But we're on our way to the lighthouse in Port Hope, Michigan. I uh, don't know if we're gonna go all the way to Port Austin, but uh, we'll, we'll see how we feel. But the, uh, the story behind this white, this lighthouse, excuse me, this lighthouse is that the first owner passed away shortly after he acquired the lighthouse and is said to watch over the lighthouse. And during the night, it is supposedly rumored that it smells like old burning cigar smoke that he used to smoke while being inside of the lighthouse during the night. And also, when his wife passed away shortly after, she is said to be in a mourning outfit, like a mourning dress, like a funeral funeral dress when your husband dies or something like that. I don't know if it was different. I haven't been to way too many funerals in my lifetime. But she is said to be seen around the lighthouse in that dress, crying and weeping over the death of her husband still to this day. I don't know how true that is. There aren't many uh, uh, articles of anything about about that, so I'm not sure too much of how, what the legitimacy of that is, but either way, I'm not really in it too much for the uh, the haunted aspect of it as much as it's uh, more of a historical site for, for Michiganders like I am, and uh, yeah, it still makes for a badass ride on a great day, so yeah, let's, uh, man, like I, I want to keep talking to, uh, to fill in more content. But I don't because I'm just so involved in the ride, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is this is fantastic. Now there's no traffic, no one behind us, 
man, this is, this is nice, except for that guy. I hate that, it'll go from 60 to 40 in like less than a mile, it drives me nuts. Alright, I'll slow it down to 55, that's all you're getting, speed limit, that's all you're getting. Getting 55, or I'm just gonna stop and just stand here. See what I'm saying, it goes from like 40 to 50 in like fucking 500 feet. <laughs> Alright, good, I didn't plan on slowing down anyway, so I guess it works out in my favor. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and shut up and stop talking and then just lean into these curves because I'm way too involved in the ride. So I will see you guys at our next destination. feet. Alright, so we got I am riding a little hard in here. Alright, that was a pretty scenic area. school village areas. Man, they're like a blink and you miss it, man. You could just fly right past them. But lucky for me, I like to actually take those in. So we're about an hour and a half into this ride. And if anyone's wondering, uh, the, the vibration, yeah, it's it's there. Uh, does, my, does my butt hurt? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, it's not terrible. My hands feel all right. Um, I could probably go another 20, 30 miles before I have to start stretching. But it's not too far from our destination. So I'm pretty confident I'll survive. So, yeah, I'm not, I'm not too worried. Well, here we are. The very tip of the thumb of Michigan. Man, this is this is very very nice. Very nice for a Memorial Day weekend ride. Oh yeah, down here, man, it gets cold. It gets cold fast. Yeah, this is nice. This is nice. Very, very nice. Alrighty, Port Hope, Michigan. It has been fun, but uh, you're getting cold and it's getting time to hit the road and resume speed. I'll definitely have to come back up here again <laughs> when it's t-shirt and vest weather. Man, if anyone ever says that the Honda Fury can't go the distance, they are absolutely wrong. I tell you what, this thing is holding up so good, it's riding good. I wish, I almost wish I could find something to complain about with this bike, but I can't. I just can't. It's it's fulfilling my every need. The only thing I could maybe say about it is if it had a six, a six speed transmission and not a five, it'd make it even better. But even at the higher RPMs at the fifth, at the fifth gear, it's, it's not that bad. It's like, gosh, this is the all-in-one. This is truly the all-in-one motorcycle. So let's uh, flip the visors down and then, uh, all right, he's good. And all right, then I guess I'm good too. All right, well, peace out, Port Hope.
got to get back onto this like deathly slow road. I can't see dick. He's got it all lifted. That's dope. <laughs> that's cool. All right. So you can't get excited. I flipped my visor down and now I can barely see anything with how many dead bugs are on it. Oh man, like I got the sniffles, like it got so cold so fast, made my nose dri nose like start dripping, you know? This time we actually made the right turn to the uh, the lighthouse, which we passed on the first go around. So now we're gonna actually go to the lighthouse and uh, see what that's all about. So I'm just like, you know what? On the way home, we'll just see if we uh, can can get there. So, oh yeah, you got some twisty, curvy roads. This ought to be fun. Could at least take it in a second. I don't think it was on the. I don't think it's down here. That's why it took me a minute to come down here. I think this is just a campground, if I'm correct, and that the lighthouse is actually farther down. I could be wrong though. Uh, yep, looks like I'm wrong. Oh, here we go. This is what we came to see. Here it is. What do you know about that? Tight spot, but it'll do. regular stairs, that's for sure. Well, that is the Point Ox Barks Lighthouse. 
Carqueas, whatever you want to call it, I don't know. I didn't study in Spanish class, that's for sure. But yeah, that's awesome inside of there though. Didn't visit the Lighthouse Museum, but I mean, it's not really what I came here for. But man, this is, this is cool. You never know the type of landmarks you got around your home, you know? But uh, let's hop, hop back on the bikes and resume speed. Mount up! Well, until next time, Point Ox Lighthouse. It has been fun. Well guys, I think that's going to conclude today's video of the Haunted Michigan Waters Ride, or whatever I call it, the Michigan Haunted Water Ride, whatever I called it in the title, you know what I mean. But if you guys enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel where you'll find more content such as this and other motorcycle Honda Fury related things with always more content to come. Again, if you did enjoy, be sure to follow the Instagram at Esoteric Rider where I post pictures of my fine specimen of a machine that is this motorcycle, my 2020 Honda Fury. Woo, double yellow line. Just get so caught up in the ride, I can't focus. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and until then, be safe and ride free. Peace out.